Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today our motive for this video is how to write the paper in exam. Now you must be wondering why we need such guidelines. See, it's very simple. Most of the time it happens, we attempt all the questions. Still, we are not able to score full marks. The reason behind that is your presentation is not quite up to the mark. So let's talk about the paper presentation. Here students, we'll be discussing the presentation of all the types of questions that can be asked in your board exams. So the first type of question which you can expect is definitions. Now students, whenever you are attempting the definition, you can see here the definition should be written in this particular format. First, you have to write the law or definition, then formula and then if it has some units or some constant value, write that particular value. The weightage of this question will be 2 marks. Now students, let's move on to your next type that is numericals. Students, when you see numerical, the numerical should be written in this given format. First the given, then to find and then the formula which you are going to use and then the solution with respect to the above formula and this will help you to score the full marks in your numericals okay now let's talk about that question which is factors affecting this is the most common question which can be asked from most of the topics like sound heat such chapters if such question is asked, the weightage will be one mark for one factor. So if the question has a weightage of two marks, you must at least write two factors. If the weightage of this question is three marks, you must write at least three factors. So this is basically the factors affecting. Now student, one more question. That is explain the formula. If you will find this question, you have to write the formula and explain all the terms which are present in that formula like this. Okay. Now let's move on with your long answers. Long answers means you have to write each statement in a proper point wise format. And student do not write the same points again and again. This can deduct your marks. Okay. Let's talk about your one more type that is give scientific reason. Now student when you see this question, this question should be written in this particular format. Like first you have to write the question and then write because. Okay. This won't be your first point. Okay. So the first question and then because and then in the next line you can give the proper scientific reason for that particular question. Okay. So the basic type of questions which can be fine and the above were the proper methods to write the answers. Okay. I hope you must find this video useful. Wish you all the best for your exams. I hope you will do well in your exams. Thank you.